Good evening, my name is Michaela Ryder and I'm going to be reading The Sweet and Sour Animal Book by Langston Hughes. There was an ape who brought a cape to wear when he went downtown. The other apes who had no cape said, look at that stuck up clown. A bumblebee flew right in the house and lit on a bouquet of flowers. It turned out the flowers were paper mache so that bee looked for honey for hours. There was a camel who had two humps. He thought in his youth they were wisdom bumps. Then he learned they were nothing but buns, and ever since, he's been in the dumps. Rover Dog is quite brave when he's chasing Tomcat around the bend. But when Tomcat scratches him on the nose, Rover Dog turns tail and goes. Elephant, elephant, big as a house. They tell me that you are afraid of a mouse. There was a fish with a greedy eye who darted towards a big green fly. Aha, that fly was bait on the hook, so the fisherman took the fish home to cook. What use is a goose except to quackle? If a goose can't quackle, she's out of wackle. Dobbin used used to be a fire hook a fire horse pulling a truck with pride now the village has a motor truck old Debbins cast aside ivis in case you have not heard is a long-legged waiting bird happiness where fish are found he hates to set food on dry ground jaybird jaybird did you know what i would do nah i wouldn't try to sing at all if i were you A little white kitten got caught in the rain. The mud and the wetting caused him great pain. When he got in the house and lay down to dry, he started to purr. He started to purring. How happy am I? A lion in the zoo, shut up in a cage, lives a life of smothered rage. A lion in the plain, roaming free, as happy as ever a lion can be. Jocko is a peanut fiend. He he can eat peanuts like an eating machine. When the peanuts are gone and his fun is done, Jocko can chatter like a son of a gun. Newt. 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 What can you be? Just a salamander child. That's me. At night, the owl in a hollow tree with one eye shut still can be. But daylight changes all of that. By day, an, uh, an owl is blind as a bat. There was a pigeon, a mighty flyer. His friends all called him Pigeon McGuire. He perched upon an electric wire, and that was the end of Pigeon McGuire. Quail are happy and feet fleet on their feet till the hunter comes gunning for something to eat. Boom! Peter Rabbit had a habit of eating garden plants till Mrs. Rabbit caught Peter Rabbit or warmed his little pants. Miss Squirrel can look so sweet when she finds her nest is neat. When baby squirrels mess her bowel, Mrs. Squirrel indeed looks sour. Turtle, turtle, I wonder why other animals pass you by. Turtles travel very slow. Still, I get where I want to go. The unicorn has a single horn, except that there is no unicorn. In fairy tales alone, they're born. Happy, unreal unicorn. The vixen is a female fox, please the woods to roam. If a trapper puts her in a box, she never feels at home. A pretty white mouse, smooth as silk, made a misstep and fell in the milk. When she got out, she was soaked to the skin and mad as a hatter because she fell in. X, of course, is a letter too, but I know no animal starts with an X. Do you? Yaks are shaggy and yaks are strong, happiness where the winters are long. But when summer sun is bright and bold, a yak had rather be where it's cold. Zebra, zebra, which is right, white on black or black or white. No more. So with the riddle, my young friend, from A to Z, we come to an end. Now I'm going to pass it over to my friend Ayana, and she's going to be doing a cra- arts and crafts activity based on the book. Hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, and welcome back. So I'll be making um, an animal, but I'm gonna need your help. I need you guys to help me figure out what animal to make and how to help me make it. Although you're not here with me, it's okay. You can walk me through it. So I have some clay and I have a little sponge just just in case my clay gets dry. 
You guys don't need to use clay. You can make your animal. We're going to make an animal, by the way, if I didn't say that already. But um, you don't have to use clay. You can make it using paper, like you can draw it on a piece of paper, or you can actually make a paper um, animal, which my friend, Miss Lindsay, is going to show you guys how to do. So can anyone give me some ideas on what animal I should make? You can go ahead. Is your name Maya or that's your name, right? Maya? Okay, go ahead. Tell me what animal I should make. You should make a bee. I should make a bee? Okay. Are you going to help me? Oh, you're going to help me? Okay. So as we're doing the activity, you guys can get your supplies. You guys can make whatever animal you want. And don't forget, you got to show me because I want to see your pretty um creations, okay? Did everybody have a good day at school? Yes? That's good. So I have my clay. Guys, um, if you're using clay, it's definitely going to get messy. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to break my clay in half because I think it's too much. Okay, Maya or anybody else. So since I'm making a B, what should I start with? Should I start with the head? Should I start with the body? Okay, Tommy, what should I start with? No, what you can start with. You can start with a head and then the body. Okay, I'll start with the head. Do you know, how can I make a head? I, I don't use clay that much, guys. I'm more of a painter. So I have a piece. So what can I do? Can I can I go like that and it'll make me a head? You think I should do that? No, you don't think I should do that? Yes, I should. Okay, I'll do that. Should we give it a big head or a little head? A little head? Oh, a big head? Wait, what should I make? A big head or a little head? Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys see that fish that was on the screen? You seen the fish? I've seen the fish. Whoa. You want me to pull it up? Miss Lindsay, if you can. Guys, yeah. turn your... Miss Lindsay, can you show us how did you make that fish? Sure. Oh. We're over here. My, my assistant, Des, and I... You can take your mask off, buddy. We are over here working with some paper because we didn't have clay. But we do have paper today, and so I didn't I'm, make the sculpture. It's not a sculpture; it's a float. Mm -hmm. See, it has tin foil, and it goes up, which makes that go down. So Des decided not to make an animal. That's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to to make an animal here. So I made a fish, and what I did was I just kind of made a taco. I don't know if you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff him with some some paper towel. Let's see if I can get that in there. My almost like a taco fish. Miss Lindsay, I have a question. Yeah. How did you get it to stick together? Well, you know, I used some tape. But you could use a stapler if you have help from a um from a parent. You could use glue, though you have to wait for it to dry. So I if I want to stuff them like that, make them a little pudgy. Then I might use some more tape and then I could paint him or I have like a green marker, whatever I want, crayons. It might be easier to draw on him before I stuff him. So you can try different things. But um, yeah, we found out this aluminum foil. This is a great tool for sculpting. Des found that out. Um, as long as your parents don't mind you using up a lot of aluminum foil, but you can, you can make some great sculptures with that too. So just try whatever you have. And even if you don't want to make a 3D piece of artwork, if you don't want to make a sculpture, you could just draw too, or paint or color, whatever you want to do. 
okay, guys. So guess what? I finished with my head. How does this look? How did I do? Did I do a good job? Oh, thank you. Okay, this is my body. I think this is a little too big. What do you guys think? Because look, this looks like a person, not an animal. Are you guys finished with your activity or can I see your progress? What do you guys have so far? Um, just a fish on a stick. A fish on a stick, can I see? Oh my goodness, Maria. I love that fish. That is so cute. I wanted to try to make a puppet show. Aubrey, that is Thank so you. cool. That's fun, Aubrey. I like that it moves. Yes, me too. You have to Tavi, do you have anything? You have to stay in there. You say you have to do what? You have to leave a little bit of space for it to stay in there. Oh, okay. Tavi, did you start making something? Can I see? I made like a texagorium. Ooh, that's nice. Where my little puppy gets to sleep and stuff. Okay, I like that. It's the corner. Y'all, I'm not even about to lie. I'm a little struggling with this B. Can I see some more people's artwork? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Mia. What are you making, a bee? Yeah. Twinsies. Your bee is pretty. Are you gonna color it? Yeah, I'm gonna color it black. Yellow and black? Okay, guys, so this is what I have. This is my bee's head, <laughs> and this is the body. Does it look cool? It's good? Okay, thank you. So what comes next after I did the head and the body? You paint it. What is that? You paint it. After, wait, this don't look like a bee. What am I missing? Wait, no, you have to shave it. Wait. In the, the wing? Wings and sting. You have to add the belly. The belly? Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to figure something out. So I'm missing the wings and the belly. And what else am I missing? Stinger. That's it? The stinger. <laughs> oh. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to figure it out. Hold on. Is the stinger supposed to be small or big? Skinny and small. Skinny small. and small. All right. How does this one look? Does this look like a perfect shape or a little smaller? So I didn't do a good job. No, I think it needs to be. Okay. What'd you say, Aubrey? I said, I think it needs to be a little bit skinnier. A little bit more skinnier. Okay. Yeah. But not too long, right? And not too long. No, Ayana, okay. I, I feel like I remember you saying you had a toothpick around. I couldn't find it. I was going to try and find it. Because that would be a good stinger, wouldn't it? Yes. Could have stuck it out right from the bottom, right? But it's okay. I'm going to use this clay. Is this too long or that's good? Good? Okay. Where do I put it? At the bottom? That looks pretty long. Oh, oh, sorry. All right, let me just take a little bit more off. This one's good. All right. Now I'm going to stick it to the bottom. Look, <laughs> this is so cute. Good? Okay. Now off to the wings, right? Okay. I don't know how to make wings, guys. Can you help me? What should I do? 
should make them oval like? Can you can like make it curvy? Curvy? Yeah. Okay. So should I flatten this out first? Oh my goodness. I love it, Mia. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that. Let's see. Oh wait. Hold on, I forgot the antlers too. You got antlers on yours. You didn't tell me about the antlers. <laughs> you mean, you mean, you don't mean antlers. Does somebody know how to, we gotta help Ayana out. What do we call those? What is it called? Oh, 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 oh. wrong animal. <laughs> <laughs> is that a fish or an octopus? Maria, that's a fish, right? Yes. That's cute. Yeah, Mia? No. Say it one more time. It's Maya. Oh, Maya. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for correcting me. Julie, let me see what you made. Bring the camera a little bit closer. Ooh, that's you what are you gonna make can you tell me what you're making you can unmute yourself sorry i, I have my wife's phone <laughs> you're making a b like me yeah can you see it yes what did you make your b out of okay a hair ribbon a bobby pin, or uh, what is that? A bobby pin for the stinger, pistachio nuts for the eyes, and there's the flower. Oh, those wow. are some creative, creative use of what you have around. That's great. Yes. Thank you, Elise. <laughs> Good job. Does anybody else want to show us what they're making? Hi, Stephanie. What are you making? Wow, that is so cute. What did you use? I'm, I'm using um, Play-Doh. Oh, cool. And what's your friend next to you name? His name is Evan. He's my brother. Evan? Oh, okay. What are you making, Evan? Um, I'm making a, a, a bow for uh, this is... I can't see. What is that? Is that a butterfly? No. No, it's something in Baby Shark. Oh, baby you want to make a Baby Shark character? No, I'm making a... a, 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 a <laughs> Bravo, Shy. <laughs> a sign? What's a sign? Evan's oh, working okay. real hard. Yeah, he sure is. Okay, what is this? What is this for a wing? Is this good or it's no? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe uh, from your right side, per, like push it in a little bit. So like this, like that. Oh, in the middle. In the middle. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> and I think, Miss Ayana, I think you're doing a fabulous job. Don't you guys all think, even though Miss Ayana doesn't know exactly what she's doing, that's okay, right? Because none of us, unless we have some really big time experts on this Zoom call, which you never know, we might have some, some professional artists here, but we're all just trying our best. And that's what the most important thing is, right? Art comes from the heart. It doesn't have to be perfect. Miss Ayana, you just do your best and we'll, we'll appreciate it. Okay. Can I share? Yes, well, how do you say your name? I was talking to you last time, but I didn't know how to say your name. Is it Joe? It's my mom's computer. Her name is Joy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what's your name? Gavin. Gavin. Hey, Gavin. Can I see your artwork? Yes. 
took a fish. A fish. I love it. You got to make, guys, after you finish your artwork, before, either after we end or before we end, don't forget to take a picture. And Miss Sarah is going to put the link in the chat of where you can send your pictures to, okay? I'm finished. Who said that? Maria? Maria? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Beautiful job. Good job, guys. Thank you. No problem. Friends, you know, we, we're going to, Miss Sarah is going to drop into the chat box um, the activity guide for this, for this session too. You can share it with um, family members and friends and with an adult who can read or teachers. And you're going to see, or they're going to see in that um, activity guide, there's a recipe actually for making clay at home, which is really fun out of stuff that you might have in your cabinet. So even if you didn't have clay today, but you think mm, that would be really fun to try it with clay, you might be able to make some clay at home um, with the help of an adult. So that, that's something to check out at some point too. And of course, Play-Doh, I love how you guys thought about that. Mm -hmm. So many of our friends here thought to grab their Play-Doh and that's really smart. That's a good idea. Play-Doh is great for that. I have some Play-Doh by my niece. She dried it all out and she makes all the colors. <laughs> I haven't and you can let if you don't if you don't mind I mean you can recycle your animal today if you've made it out of play-doh or you can let it dry if you want and you can even paint play-doh I know people who have done that too but then of course you'll don't it, don't be sad that you can't use it again because if you it air dries it'll be hard and kind of crumbly but something to think about guys I think I might have to change yeah. my animal yeah. you know well Miss Ayana Miss Anna, well you, well, you continue to work. And if you want, you could change your animal because you can always change your mind. Artists can do that. Um, while you work, maybe Miss Sarah, can we put up some of those images for some inspiration that the other kids did? Yeah. You mean from this book, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show the owl. The owl is so cute, guys. And if you guys are using clay, you know, you can paint after it dries. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea to do a while it's wet. Is everyone doing all right? I'm so I think kind it's of just having a hard time with the scenery. Okay, it's all right. I'm struggling too, so it's okay. I like that though. You're thinking about the the environment that your animal lives in. That's pretty cool. Because when I'm looking at these pictures. I don't think the kids really thought when they were creating their, their artworks for this book, I, it doesn't look like they were really thinking about the environment, right? They're just kind of all on white backgrounds, but for sure you can think about where your animal might live too. That's a great idea. Look at this quail, it's so tiny. That's so nice. And look, some of these, like, look at that bunny. Has anybody ever seen a bunny or a rabbit with all those different colors on them? See, so it's okay. You can you can do you have your artistic license. You are the artist and you can decide how you want to represent your animal. Even if it's not realistic, that's okay. Because sometimes it's more fun, right? When it's not perfect and it's not realistic. <laughs> Can I want to say something? Well, I just want to remind everyone that if you want to submit pictures of your art pieces, I drop my email in the chat box. So feel free to, to tell your parents to send me an email and with the pictures of your photos of your art pieces, and we can post them on the MiddlesexCounty.gov page where we've been posting some of the art pieces of other students' work from other weeks. And we'll also be posting a recording of today's event, and we have recordings of previous week's events as well. So a whole bunch of information there on Black History Month. So make sure to check out that page. Guys, I'm gonna make a butterfly instead, okay? Sounds like a good idea. I love it. I love butterflies. They're so cute. What's that, Maria? Uh, I'm just making a cake.
Ooh. For my little dolls. Um, Des, he, he, my, my friend Des walked away, but he made this ghost right here with the eyes that pop out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Des is so creative. I love it. So like you it. all are creative. Does anybody else want to come on camera and show their artwork? Miss Anna, I think we're going to wrap up the art making part pretty soon. But I wanted to ask a question of you real quick before we do. And that, how do you, I know that you, you were kind of nervous about making an animal. You wanted it to be perfect, but how do you feel about touching the clay? How does that feel to you and working with it? It's a little cold, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, I think it's just like Play-Doh, but just like a different um, texture. Not different texture, but like a different consistency. Like, you know how Play-Doh is easy to break? Clay is more harder to deal with, you know? Not I'm hard. I was wondering if you find it relaxing. Oh, yeah. Calming. I think art in general is definitely very common. So that's nice to know that we don't always have to create artwork to make something that is perfect. Sometimes we can just mm -hmm. enjoy the process, right? To calm ourselves, calm our bodies and our minds. Guys, let me just tell you, my butterfly, it's a work in progress. <laughs> show, it, show it to us, Miss Ayanna. I, I want you to show it to us and then I want everybody to take a look and give us a thumbs up, look. give Miss Ayanna some positive <laughs> feedback. Look at my um butterfly. Ooh, we like it. We like it. The head a little big, but it's all right. <laughs> like that, Miss Ayanna. There we go. I can't even. Okay. Does anybody else want to share before we wrap up? They're being shy today. I don't know what's, don't what's know going on. They're being shy. We have a few new faces. Mm -hmm. I see Mr. Bennington keeps on like showing us something. He's like, he's like bringing something into the camera, but he doesn't want to share. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't mind sharing. I'll, let me turn off my background. I think, I think Mrs. LaMarche wants to share as well. Um, no, I just made a little, a little cat because I didn't have. Him. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I kind of just did this and I was working on, I was trying to figure out if I should do like the legs or what I should do. That looks cool. I was asking my friend Aubrey Rose over there and she said it looked nice, but creepy. So I was trying to figure out how to make it. <laughs> well, thank you. Of course. Are you guys enjoying this activity? We are, it's very relaxing. It's, it's very nice to do, especially at the end of the day. I was just yeah. going to share, um, I'm Aubrey's teacher as well, so it's so wonderful to be here today. Aubrey, thank you for sharing this event with Mr. Bennington and myself, but this is just a neat activity, just a great way for, you know, children to express their creativity, and um, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm making a turtle out of aluminum foil, so um, thank you for having us today. This is a really special treat. Thank you for joining us. And yeah. as you can probably tell, we're not the art teachers. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's excellent. Yeah, we love that. Art, art comes from the heart. We always say that. So everybody, anybody can do it, really. Anybody can. And whatever you make, especially during your time with us, is going to be fabulous. It doesn't matter. We're, we're always going to love whatever you make. Maria, you were showing us something. Do you want to share? Okay. I need a little cake. Oh, oh, right. You were making, you were working Thank on a you. cake. Yes, I love it. Awesome. Okay, cool. So I think that we should start. So I'm going to drop the link for the DocGov one more time in the chat. So I can make sure that you guys have access to that page. And then we'll be back next week. Tracy, if you are around, do you want to introduce the, the event for next week? Wow. Hi, everyone. If you could just pull it up, Sarah. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. And we're looking so forward to next week, the same day, Wednesday. But it's going to be February 24th. It's going to be at 4 p.m., but a different link. Thank you, Ayana. Thank you for the activity and thank you so much uh, for being with us. So it's Dave the Potter, artist, poet, slave. 
by Laban Carrick Hill. No, I'm sorry, Laban Carrick Hill, illustrated by Brian Collier. So we're hoping that you're able to join us and please spread the word. You'll get another email um, from Sarah um, with the link to register and please just pass the, pass the link on to as many people as possible and all are welcome. And you know, all these events are all ages and we're hoping to bring this through April. And friends, you'll see that um, if, you, if you look at the cover, you can probably guess what we're gonna be doing, what kind of activity, but we're gonna be making pots actually out of clay. And so um, it's okay if you don't have clay at home. Like I said, you might wanna check out that make your own clay recipe. Maybe you can make some before next week, but even if you don't, even if you don't have clay, you can, you know, we also have a link to where you can order it um, from Amazon and get it delivered to you. But even if you don't have clay, you can use aluminum foil. You could, you can make um, a cup or a, a box with paper. There's all sorts of ways and certainly Play-Doh like some friends did today. So there's lots of different ways that you can make a pot and even if you don't want to make something, still come and read the story with us and help us uh, with the activity like you all did today. So we can't wait to see you all. Yes, Aubrey, you have a question? I have two things. Um, who's reading the next book? It's a surprise. Okay. And um, I, I also wanted to share. Go ahead. Let's see what you made. Oh my goodness, you got two fish. Cute. What's that up in the corner? Is that you? It's a mermaid. A mermaid? Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Don't you definitely don't forget to um take a picture and show us. Okay. I love it. I'm still working on it. Oh, is that baby shark? I was just about to ask that. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Do you like Baby Shark? Mm, a little bit. Yeah, and I'm doing <laughs> Grandpa Shark a little bit. Little Grandpa bit. Shark, can I see what you have so far? Uh, um, um, I, uh, I, I have these toys and I got his mustache and I got a fish and I got his glasses and, I, and I'll get talk for eyes and, and then I will show you with this thing and have to get it out and then I will show you okay. how he, he get his mustache on. Okay. I can't wait to see it. You know friends too if you are are you if you're still working which is totally fine you can work as long as as you want. Um uh, you can always bring your creation next week to show us too. We'd love to see what you created this time, uh, you know, next week too. So, so if you still want to share and you didn't get a chance or you weren't finished, you can bring it next week too. Okay, look, you like it? Ooh, look at my butterfly guys. Wait, am I done? Or do I need to add something else? I can't hear you. I feel like it needs color. Color, okay. So I'm gonna let it dry then next, and then when we come back next week on Wednesday, I'm gonna show you guys my butterfly, okay? So you, you gotta make sure you're here so you can see it, okay? Don't forget, don't forget, okay? And look at my butterfly, it's all finished. Tavi, are you finished? This is when I make, I make like, uh, uh, I made like a kitty corner. Oh, in puppy corner. Cute. That's cool. With that some bread and everything. <laughs> wow. And even they have pineapple. Pineapple. The pineapple. Abby has a pineapple. Oh, yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. We can't wait to see you next week with all your artistic and creativity. Everyone ready for next week? Yes, I am. I Good. am. Same day, Wednesday, February 24th, 4 p.m., different link. Look out for the link. All right. Take care.